the piece and we are now on the US host for the third map, the second capture the flag, which is our Caden. Yeah, I just need an invite to lobby and I'll be with oh. you and just have they have they actually started the game? Yeah, they've started it. I'll uh, get you in, Tom. <sighs> you know, you wouldn't think I was in this organization. You would think I'd be the first people that personally invite. I am therefore the most important, so Right, and I so don't we don't want to hear get... any sarcastic coughs <laughs> from you, Lucas. <laughs> We are going to get on board with the top team first of all, and I'm on board with Momentum, who uh, will be using that PP90 extended mags because, of course, we are playing the US rules over here in Europe. We do actually use no extended mags, but Momo has managed to get behind two players at the vending machine area, taken down Killer already, goes for a second, but doesn't actually let the grenade do the work which he thought was it was going to do, but has pulled that flag anyway while he had that player stunned and has got away into the bottom link area. But all of his teammates have just died around. This is going to be huge clutch play from Momo if he managed just to escape. He's trying to advance towards McGee and Pasco. Knows there's somebody coming behind him as well. Manages to take down Killer. This is impressive play from Momo, to be honest. Yeah, he's done well. Yeah, I would just came in and he uh, managed to get in a good position so the rest of his team could sort of help him out. But the flag has actually been pulled by his up and we're going to go to a stalemate situation. So, for one, I'm actually just going to move away to Pasco, but he does get taken out by John. Stay on board with with just a moment while he does defend himself and Jared is there to help him. Yeah, he has got the support of Jared, which is interesting to see because they are both the SMG players, but Momo has been dropped to Killer Killer, also taking down Pasco as well. McGee is going to have to make his way over to that flag, but he has been stunned. Knows there's a player in bar, knows there's one coming underneath him as well. It's going to be huge from McGee. No, it isn't because he has been dropped by John. Momo just going over there to take down the player that has got the flag return. It might be a capture, it might not yet be. Momo has got that kill. But the flag has been captured by Team Fear. They do go into the lead here on this third map. The second capture of the flag of this best of five series. Team Fear are in the lead with a one flag capture to zero. Yeah, that's what we sort of expected from Fear. It was nice play by Momo from what I've seen. And he just gets a little bit of a turn on the killer there. John does clean up though and will push in that bar. But it was a nice play by my pressure and got a tad unlucky. Pasco taking out John, pushing off. I did get a little bit unlucky there. Not to capture anything, but they do actually have three down. Fizzup is last alive and he's around the corner ledge somewhere. Just taking out Pasco and he has actually pulled the flag. Bold moves by Fizzup who has taken out McGee as well. John takes out Momo Jared with a huge grenade onto Fizzup there, which could pay very, very crucial. It was interesting that Momo actually pushed that back paint because that will have forced the spawn towards the green, which I think will have actually helped Team Fear whilst pulling that flag along that B-Dom side. But McGee has managed to drop that flag once again with the use of the Semtex onto Killer McGee with a two-piece taking down Fizzup as well. Discoverable is left last alive for Team Fear at the vending machine area. Jerd pushing him has got the support of Pasco over his shoulder, but now they are all off the spawn once again. Yeah, that was slightly unfortunate. Discoverable coming up with a nice little three-piece to take out most of my pressure team. Mickey off the respawn to try and help his team defend this fight for a little bit longer. Two minutes and 15 seconds left to go on this side. A little bit of a fight going on on the top of the ledge between Momo and Killer. There. Momo comes off best, takes out Killer. John taking out Pasco as well in mid map. McGee lagging about a little bit now again, which is a little bit unfortunate for his team. As John comes in, McGee is the last one live until Momo respawns. Yeah, McGee just doing a bit of defensive work. Doesn't actually need to push out whilst his teammates aren't actually alive. Or is McGee even there? I wasn't sure. I think he may have been able to sort trying to sort out his connection, but that is actually four down. I'm currently on Bowen Momo to see what he can do to stop this fight. He really needs to get his stuns over. He gets a little bit unlucky against Killer, who gets the headshot, and that is probably going to be two nil to Fear in about ten seconds' time. Not much of my pressure can do about this now. No, I think, to be honest, that flag has gone and it will be 2-0 to Team Fear. And once again, my pressure losing on what is considered the better side of the map for Capture the Flag. Yeah, they just seem to be overtaken by Fear here in terms of Capture the Flag gameplay. Nice go by Pasco there. Nice little two-piece by himself. He's just going to sit around that barrier and try and defend a little bit. I think they really need to sort of reduce any, sort, any more of a def deficit that they could go into the second half with. They really need to capitalise next half and try and push fear to the next map of course it is only 1-1 at this moment in time you're watching the gwh game as well how show match between my pressure and fear for the price of a hundred dollars
the Avenger controller, uh, one apiece, of course, and the Squid Grip skull with that controller as well. So it's a nice little prize, but just for a best out of five show match. Of course, it was actually supposed to be a best out of nine. This <laughs> discoverable comes up on Momo, gives him a quick slice to the cheek. Nice play by him there, but I think Pasco needs to watch behind. Actually shooting at his own teammate there, John taking McGee out with the help of Pasco. He will take out Johnny, has to be careful, because I did actually see somebody come behind. Nice play by Pasco. The f oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been a very nice play by Pasco there gets is extremely unlucky. McGee's gonna have to do some clutch work here. It doesn't take very long to run this flag across the area of the middle of that map and the flag has been returned by my pressure. That is only gonna be two nil by the end of it. I don't think they have time to capture this flag now. Maybe no, if you that's eight better. seconds. Yeah, it's uh it's usually a 10 yeah, second anyway. flag run on this map, so they do not have time. And that is going to be 2 0 going into the second half. If we just look at this scoreboard now, and Fear, apart from Fizzit, the whole of the Fear team are slaying very, very well. Look at Fizzit, though. I think he's actually got two captures to his name, so he might not have the most amount of kills, well, far from the most amount of kills, to be honest, but he's definitely doing the objective work, which is what he's asked of him as well, so he is doing that well. Yeah, gonna go on ball with Fizzup, actually see what he can do and see what he has actually been doing. Right, gets his grenade and stun over the top of the map at the beginning. Killer picking up a two-piece onto Jerd and Momo. Killer now taking out McGee as well. That's a three-piece by Killer. Let's see what more he can do. Pasco is just taking out Discoverable around there and Fear Killer and Fizzup are gonna push out of green to push for the flag. Fizzer just stood around this green area. It's interesting to see actually how um, my pressure actually played in a tournament game last night, taking on Prophecy, and they actually won the capture the flags but lost the search and destroys until the very last map. Uh, did actually lose that 3 2, but Prophecy are always very, very strong on CTF, and for my pressure to beat them on the CTF, it was considered sort of an achievement. Whereas today, they're not showing their CTF strength at all. With Killer going for that two-piece, they're not getting it. Flicking back towards the rubble area, he was right to do so, but McGee just the other side of that. But now my pressure, trying to look strong. And McGee with a huge three-piece. That flag carrier is stunned. Fizzit will probably get the grenade onto him. No, he doesn't. Does need to drop down, but I would have thought that this flag will be captured now as they are spawning all the way back at Domo A. That is definitely going to be a flag capture to my pressure as Jared puts that in. Momo's going to go for the relay, but he's not going to get it as John is there to clear up. John's just going to defend for a couple of seconds here while the rest of his team do respawn. He's a good position to do so, although it does seem as if Pasco is pushing around behind. Shots have been fired from both teammates of each team. Not much is going off here, but it does seem as if they are on the back foot a little bit. Yeah, they are, but uh, I think, to be honest, they will just try and take it slow, manipulate the game speed to the way they want to be playing. I think my pressure probably do work better when it is at a faster pace, when it is, of course, all on their terms. They will be benefiting from that, but John doing nice defensive work, Killer doing it as well, uh, as John tried to push out McGee was there. But now, if you look at the way Team Fear is set up, they, they know that they are being pushed very aggressively from my pressure at the minute. But as soon as they manage to wait for them to push, I'm sure they'll just wait for two, maybe three down, and then be able to push out. Yeah, they're doing the right thing. They're just going to sit back and let them come. They are under that little bit of pressure, as you said. So all they need to do is wait, get a few of them dead, and push onwards. It's sort of the way that, I mean, I'm not too sure. You're probably not not that aware, Gucci, but it's sort of the way that the French team... Um, that just seemed to dominate the whole proceedings of Black Ops. It's the way that they seem to do it. If they were under pressure, they would take their time, sit back, get a few dead. But they'd always seem to have somebody lingering around the spawn. They were very, very sneaky and very, very French. Very, very French. That does mean that they are just sneaky. But now, speaking of sneaky, that flag was pulled by Jerd, but Killer just popped out of that corner took him down that is three down now McGee last left last alive for my pressure against all four of the members of team fear Momo and Jerd straight off the spawn John just causing havoc around that green area has seen two Jerdy nose is there as well just get the better of him a nice play from John sneaky playing around the ring of power there oh, oh. John, well, nice we got what you meant, moment. but that is brilliant play by John there. He's actually going to pick up the fifth. Is he going to get any more? Yes, he oh is. This is an God, absolute God. rampage by John. Somebody signed this guy up. <laughs> Jared does eventually take him out, but that flag is going to get pulled away. Just go over with a headshot onto Jared, but Momo is actually going to cease that actual attack, and it is actually still just 2-1 to fear. They only have a one flag advantage at this moment in time. Yeah, it seems weird to say they have only got that one flag advantage because for the past minute, two minutes, we've been watching John mainly just 
absolutely tear the living hell out of uh, my precious spawn. And they are just taking it a little bit slower now. They realise that with only one minute left on that clock, they don't need to make any um, aggressive pushes and actually slip up and go four down. So they are just sitting in wait for my pressure off the spawns. And with only 50 seconds left, it's looking like they would be happy to see this out. Yeah, but it does look actually they're going to go on the attack. McGee has pushed sword as John takes that moment, but he does need to support his teammate. McGee had to be taken out by Killer, who doubled back on himself just to come around behind McGee. Very smart play from the veteran fear player there, although Pasco has come up big with the grenade, but John is going to pick up this flag, and it does look like he's going to put this in. That's going to be 3-1 to fear. Yep, 3-1 to fear, and that is all over here on Capture the Flag Arcade, and that means that Team Fear will go 2-1 into the lead on overall maps, which means we will be seeing a S and d potentially as the last map, and that will be the next map, which was... was it? Hang on, let me um, have a look underground. Really impressive play here by the American team. They have to be a little bit careful there. I'm not too sure what he's actually picked up there. It was an MP9. Is that? Oh, I don't think they're going to. All right, okay. All right, anyway, what I was trying to ignore what I was saying there, but we are actually looking at Fear, who have dropped around, it looks like, about 70 or 80 kills between them in this map, which is brilliant slaying prowess from them there. Top three players there, Discoverable, Fear, and uh, Killer, and John. 23, 24, and 27 kills apiece with under 20 deaths each. Fantastic performance by them. The course for Zip coming in with the flag capture. So I'd imagine we're going to go to a very, very quick break and we'll be back with.